So let me clear some things up for people that don't understand. People seem to get the idea that what I'm doing is anywhere m remotely close to what Noob3 does with his Once Upon a Toxic series, which is completely false. If you would notice and you would see, he does adept and toxic characters, and he plays his way of being toxic. What I'm doing is I'm playing full-on builds and being as toxic as I can with those specific characters. And then for survivors, I'm being the generic survivor that the devs intended for the design of the survivor. Just so people stop trying to compare the two because they aren't anything alike other than the fact that the word toxic is in the name. And if, even if you were to ask Noob3, I guarantee you he'd be like, it's not copying either. What we have are two different styles, two different gameplays, and two different ways of doing things. So, without further ado, let's get into the games. So what we're doing is we're playing the generic Billy, or the super toxic Billy. And if you don't know what the generic Billy is, it's what you see every single Billy main player run, usually. And then with the most OP add-ons on Billy to boot. So what we got is a very generic Billy build. Maybe switch around some perks for some certain types of players, but this is basically the generic Billy build. What we got here is we got Pop Goes the Weasel. So. When I break a generator, after I hook someone, it regresses the generator by 25% and Pop Goes the Weasel stays active for 30 seconds. Hex Ruin. Slow the game down just a little bit. Because I don't think you will ever see any Billy player without Hex Ruin on unless they, they're they literally just memeing around and not really caring about. Unless it's a Slug Billy too. You'll always see Slug Billies without it too. Then we got Tinker. So when a generator is repaired 85%, you receive a notification and your terror radius is reduced to zero meters for 12 seconds and this helps for Billy to be able to sneak up on people with the chainsaw and then we got barbecue and chili so when I hook a survivor I get to see other survivors auras if they're 40 meters or more away for four seconds and then 25% stackable bonus for each individual survivor hooked for blood points and then for add-ons generic Billy add-ons we got Tuning Guide, which moderately decreases the chainsaw tar charge time and slightly decreases the cooldown. With the Thompson's Mix, which considerably decreases the chainsaw cooldown and slightly decreases the chainsaw, chainsaw charge time. But, you can always go ahead and throw on a Primer Bulb, or if you want to be a cooldown Billy, you can go throw on Thompson's Mix and Lubricant, which makes your cooldown for your chainsaw really low, and then gives you that slightly increased or decreased uh, charge time on your chainsaw. And then since I don't have a lot of tuning guides, we're going to go ahead and throw on a Black Ward just because, and then hope we get proper games and not fucking Larry's because I'm not playing Drift King Billy. So I actually completely forgot while I was explaining the perks that this is a toxic gameplay and I have to have an Ebony Mori on or else it wouldn't be toxic, would it? So I went in through on the Ebony Mori. I'll just go ahead and use up uh, points in order to get more uh, tuning guides. Our totem's in a shitty spot. Oh, hi there, urban evading Lori. You should never do that in the corner with a Billy or a Leatherface. Just don't do that in a corner. Don't do that with anyone. Oh, if I made it around that, I would have hit him. So we got our decisive guy over there, and he's not going to really be able to do much with his decisive since I'm about to morium right now because he's a decisive guy, and I'm just going to be toxic towards the decisive guy. Oh, it's a Meg. Everyone's just hopping out in front of me. Nice. Gotta get these pallets gone. Well, I don't know what you expected from that, but... 
It sure wasn't what you were trying to do. Or what it looked like you were trying to do. I was gonna turn. I thought I could make it around. Probably could have. Nah! Step back from my totem! Whew. Slow vaulted. Back the fuck up from my totem. Oh! Why did it stop the swing? Well, you fucked up that blink. You toxic little shit! I can be toxic too! He broke, or he threw that down, so now I'm gonna go ahead and go back to this totem. Oh, I turned too fast. So we throw this guy on the hook. There's still five gens left. I don't know what they're doing. But now you're dead. I can be toxic too. Uh -huh. Urgh, take the chainsaw right to the bathroom. <laughs> They're gonna break my totem. Yeah. You know what you get for breaking my totem is, right? A nice chainsaw to the back. Did he... T did he... Did he sandbag you with that pallet? I'm playing with potatoes. These guys are 100% potato. I'm playing with potatoes. One hundred percent. I can't believe I found you. I was just gonna let it. Cause I wanna be able to hook him. And this is why people say only the baddies run decisive strike. He's got the sprint. I don't know why you stayed on that gen. I didn't get the chainsaw or mori everyone, but this worked out in the end. I was literally playing against potatoes. I was gonna mori him right off the bat, but I needed to find him. I could probably could have found him without even hooking him. I probably could have moried him. But you know, you, you gotta do what you gotta do to get the 4K. Why is my name Bob the Breaker? Fuck. So I'll just go ahead and spend some blood points to get more tuning guides, because they're usually on almost every single blood web. At least one. So I'll just spend some points, grab those, and keep going with my Ebony Morris.
But usually people will run enduring or people will run like like uh fucking couple of things that people run. I just can't think of it right now because I'm in a chase. But people run a lot of different things on Billy. I'm just doing the very generic Billy build that I see a lot of people running nowadays. There's a lot of people here. That was a bad idea. Whoa! I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> Very nice indeed. They're going ahead and getting that. Go and teabag, but you suck. Doesn't make any sense to me. Let's go back to this guy. See if we can catch someone. Oh, you almost ran straight into that. Oh, I tried to fake it. I almost got it too. I almost got the fake on that. That would have been so dirty. Go ahead and throw this guy on the top of the hill. Well, I missed him. You know you're you're gonna die in a second. Say bye bye, Mr. David. David, you are not the king today. You are the goddamn Joker, the, the jester, the peasant. You're the one who makes me laugh. That was a super bad idea. That was a super bad idea. I don't know what you were thinking with that one. That was a very bad idea. You could have ran through that pallet and it at least looped me a little bit longer. There's a guy right here. Hi, how's it going? Now let's see if we can get the barbecue and chili in order to get this guy.
He's still up there, I'm pretty sure. Good job! <laughs> oh man. Good job. And now what we're also going to do is we're going to throw on, instead of the Thompson's mix, we're going to go throw on the primer bulb for an actual Insta Saw. And you know what? We're also going to go throw on Enduring. And Bamboozle. 15% vault speed faster. And blocks one window that I vault. And then Enduring recovery from stuns is 75% faster. And we'll see how well this goes. We got Auto Haven. Shitty map for Billy, but I will make it work. Just watch. And since we got Bamboozle, we can actually block a couple of these windows. Stop some loops. But the thing about Bamboozle is I can't fake windows. Because they're gonna heal they're gonna hear the uh the bamboozle go off every single time I vault the window. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep this side of the map on lock. I didn't even see him at first. I turned by accident before the chainsaw was even ready. Could have swung through that, but I wasn't gonna make it. So I didn't even try. You got to sprint first off. Nice. Didn't even have to get this pallet to go around. This guy dipped. He's just gonna. I'm gonna follow you around if you're gonna go throw down every single pallet like this. I'm definitely following you around. Don't, don't do that. And since your decisive is gone now, I can uh, go ahead and toss you on a hook over here. You did this generator so I don't have to worry about it. Hello, Mr. Crouching Urban Evading Jake. I don't even understand. Oh, oh. Yeah. So we got one, uh, two people hooked right now. Yeah. Ah! 
That was not gonna work. You should know how fast my chainsaw is going. We're gonna go ahead and kill this guy. He's probably gonna get unhooked behind me. Which should have been in front of me because of the way that I moried him. But for some reason, it turned him around. That was a very bad idea. Urban evading Jake. He's got iron will, though. Oh, it wasn't... Oh my god. Don't know how that missed. I knew you were going to try for that window, so I just waited. Put my chainsaw back down. Made him think he was going to be able to get through the window, but no, I have insta-saw. You ain't getting through any windows. The uh, decisive guy still has his... Uh, his injured state going on. The hatch spawned right here. Alright, I gotta hook this guy so I can find him. Where'd Jake go? He ran right back to the fucking... You're too predictable, Jake. You're too predictable. You're too damn predictable. <laughs> oh man. Way too damn predictable. Didn't even get to use my bamboozle. Come on, guys. Hi. Boy. Hey, damn tree hugger, get away from the tree. What did the tree ever do to you? You bastard. That Jake was potato. But I'm still here selling propane and propane accessories, so don't worry, I'll be here all week. I'm just all about this money, I don't think about no thighs Girl, you don't know about me, so get off my fucking D Born and raised in the thigh, this is real as you gon' see Girl, you don't know about me, so get off my